Hi everyone, with this video I will give you a detailed description of what every structural design should entail from start to finish. There are some basic steps that need to be followed with every new project. I have grouped this into five sections which we will review in a minute to give you a full understanding of what the process of every structural design includes. So subscribe, turn on notifications and let's dive in. Structural engineers turn architectural designs and concepts into safe, functional and durable structures that can withstand all nature forces and applied loads. As I have already mentioned, I have grouped the process of structural design into five stages. And these are the preliminary stage, making assumption stage, the main analysis and design stage, final checks and preparing the design presentation. Let's take them one by one. The preliminary stage. First, we need to study all architectural drawings and familiarize ourselves with the actual design intent. Perform a site investigation to identify possible restrictions, irregularities, inspect soil conditions. As a side note, a geotechnical investigation might prove very useful. We then need to decide on the type of structure, for example, reinforced concrete, steel frame or timber frame. The decision depends on many factors, like the design itself, cost implications, local restrictions and even the owner's instructions. Based on the type of structure and location, we also need to define the design codes that will be used. As an example, apart from the basic structural design and loading codes, we might need to implement snow and wind loading codes, traffic loading codes, fire design and seismic design codes. Once we have this information ready, we can proceed to the next stage. Assumptions. First, we need to assume the building use and maybe any future possibilities. Come up with all the different loads that would be imposed on the building self-weights, dead loads, live loads, wind and snow loads, seismic loads, etc. Based on experience, we can assume preliminary sizes for the structure members, column sizes and spans, beam sizes, slab depths. Experienced engineers can identify correct member sizes and this only develops after years of experience. If not, after and if the initial assumptions prove wrong, the process will have to be repeated. As a good practice, I strongly suggest to review all of your assumptions, especially member sizes and locations with the architect for a final confirmation. Now we are ready to proceed to the main stage of the design. Analysis and design. This is where we need to calculate all loads and load combinations perform an analysis of all forces applied on the structure and perform a structural design on each member. Calculate the necessary reinforcement for concrete, connections for steel members and so on. This stage is usually carried out by specialized software. The engineer creates a model of the structure and the software performs thousands of calculations and iterations to return back with all structural analysis and design results. Currently, without the engineer's knowledge and input, no software is able to provide accurate and correct design results. Perhaps with the use of AI, this can become feasible in the near future. But again, if you don't know what to ask from any AI program, the results might prove insufficient and wrong. We now need to perform checks on our design and make sure that everything is according to regulations. Check allowable limits like deflections, minimum and maximum reinforcements. Check on local restrictions, feasibility checks and cost implications. If any of the design checks present an issue, then we have to go back to our assumptions, review and revise and run the whole process again as many times needed to achieve a correct and optimized design. Last, the actual design has to be put into design drawings and details for it to be able to go out for construction. 
To summarize, there are five stages in the design process of any structural design. Preliminary, assumptions, analysis and design, checks, presentation. And this brings us to the end. Thank you for watching.